Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. Got a bit of a different video here for you as I share some painting. I pulled out my watercolors and I've been painting a lot of cats, back black cats at the moment. Um, because of Ali Brown's video, it just really impacted me and I was struggling quite a bit from it afterwards. And I'm just going to share a story about how I struggled and what I learned through that. And I hope it's really encouraging for anyone who may be struggling or dealing with suffering, especially especially at this time, I think it might be a bit fitting. But yeah, um, first let me just share what I'm doing in this video. I am just practicing using watercolors again, um, how much paint to apply, how much water, and also I've never drawn or painted a cat before. So just getting used to the shape of the cat head. I ended up doing like 15 cat heads, <laughs> since 15 is my favorite number, to do an artwork and not just practice. Um, but you know, doing things like working out how pointy to do the ears, how far apart to put them, how round to do the head. So that by the end, I was pretty quick in doing a cat head and pretty confident in what I was doing and happy with the results. So later on, I'll share a couple of videos where I actually draw a full cat. <laughs> um, and I'll share some more Keanu stories then. But let me share this story. I really hope it is encouraging because I went through quite a bit of a journey. I after that watching that video um if you don't know about it i'll link it below um my video tribute to ali brown um and that night i just you know i was in bed you know the lights out before i fell asleep crying and just had this really um good conversation with god i suppose about it um because I was, I was really struggling. I was in a, a lot of pain. And it, for whatever reason, I know there's lots of bad things that happen in the world. Um, lots of horrible, cruel things. But for whatever reason, animal suffering and animal cruelty is the one thing that really affects me so deeply that I can question everything. That I can just go, what's the point? And I get very existential. Um, whereas other things I can kind of go, oh, that's horrible. I can still keep on going, you know, but with animal suffering and cruelty, it can kind of stop me in my tracks and I can just go, what's the point? Like, why, how can I possibly live in a world where animals suffer? Innocent animals, you know? Um, and then, of course, you can extend that out to everything. How can I live in a world where people suffer? And anyway, so here I was just in bed crying in a lot of pain talking to God and some phrases were coming out just coming out things like I don't understand I don't understand and it's not fair and I was getting a little bit angry as well because you know pain often turns to anger and those phrases aren't phrases normally in my vocabulary like I said hard things happen in the world that I know of um, and yet I still don't turn to those phrases of it's not fair and I don't understand but when it comes to animal suffering and cruelty those are the phrases that come into my mind and if I can't understand something and I feel this injustice, you know, I can't cope and I just, it tears me up so much. And so I was asking God, I was saying, help me, give me answers. I need help because this is, this is too much. This is too painful. I need help. I don't know what to do. And I, I can't live in a world with suffering. And of course, I knew things like heaven is coming to earth and one day there's no going to be no suffering and God is doing stuff. He is, he, his heart breaks at suffering and he's, he's active, always active. But I was just asking him and telling him, you know, but what about now? That's all good and well that heaven's coming and that there will, won't be any suffering later. But what about right now? How can I possibly deal with the suffering right now? Animals suffering right now. And so I was just saying, give me answers, give me answers. And he, you know, um, so one of the things that helps me is to picture myself, use my imagination and picture myself with God or with Jesus. And it just makes it a lot more tangible. So I pictured myself and I was crying in his lap. My head was in his lap and I was just crying, saying these things to him. It's not fair and I don't understand. And help me, help me, help me. And he was just sitting there with me, stroking my head, stroking my hair tenderly. And, you know, he just sat with me as I cried. He just listened to my 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 crazy ramblings then. Well, let's not say crazy, my totally re legitimate ramblings. And, you know, I don't know how long I sat there with him doing that and he just listened and comforted me and that's the thing so this is my little insight or the thing that I learned through this journey he didn't give me any answers 
but what he gave me was comfort and compassion and love and you know after spending however long it was crying in his lap I just had this moment where I realized oh I feel a bit better now you know I can breathe again breathing is a bit easier now oh okay okay I can I can, I can keep going on it was it made it just more manageable more bearable um, and yeah the suffering is still there I'm still aware of it that it's still there but his comfort his compassion his love made all the difference for me and I realized of course I can keep on going I can keep on going um, because instead of that moment like I was just so consumed by it I couldn't think about anything else I couldn't do anything else and he just made it more bearable so they could actually do other stuff now I could my mind and heart was freed up to think about other things and my life was freed up and time was freed up so I could actually do other stuff and focus on other stuff and because he just made it a bit more bearable for me so I hope that's helpful you know whatever suffering or um, pain struggles that people are going through as well like we can think oh I need to give that person answers or how can I help them I need to give them an answer it's like no 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 sometimes the thing we need isn't answers and sometimes there aren't answers so what do we do in those cases where we will never understand the suffering what can we do we can sometimes you can think like it's too much it's too overwhelming there's nothing you can do there's just nothing and you just want to give up and roll fall in a heap and you know roll over and it's just that's the end you know just listlessly go through life you know and but what I found is you know answers even if they're not there even if they are there sometimes they're not the thing that helps what does help is just comfort and compassion and love so whatever anyone is going through whatever hard time someone may be going through whatever it is um, we can stand with each other and just offer that comfort compassion and love just listen just sit with them just be with them cry with them and that can be enough just to make that pain a bit more bearable so that someone can keep on going keep on functioning because with this like I couldn't function my head was just in a place where I was just like I can't function I can't live right now you know like I wasn't suicidal or anything nothing like that but what I mean is just I couldn't focus on anything else and therefore I, I felt like I couldn't live and I was like how can I keep on living when am I, I I just felt like I would focus on this for the rest of my life and to the point where I was like I was checking on Keanu and just I was always saying are you okay are you okay and I was just always I guess worried about him worried that one day he might suffer and one day this or one day that and what if and what if that and you know that's not a healthy place to be in it's not helpful anyway and but that's the place I was in I was just consumed by these thoughts and um one thing yeah that helped me was that compassion that comfort and love and I could keep on going that was helpful so helpful but another thing that really helped me and I want to get back to this painting this video is just expressing myself creatively is one way that that helps me process and deal with things and move on so emotions they're not bad things you know we don't have to judge ourselves or judge others for any worry or fear or struggles or pain that people are going through at all but we can healthily deal with emotions or we can unhealthily deal with them we can kind of run away with them or we can what I find helps is express them talk them out or for me um, things like journaling or writing helps me in this particular case what helped me was painting apparently <laughs> you know I haven't painted in a long time but sometimes you just need an outlet for your emotions and your thoughts and whatever it is, find it whatever it's for you. Maybe journaling's not the thing that's going to help you at this time. Maybe you need to write a song or write a poem or do all of those things. For me, I had to do quite a few things. I did do a few journal pages, uh, but it wasn't enough. I found I needed another outlet. So painting was the thing that helped. So with you, whatever you're going through, any emotion, the good, the bad, whatever, um, it just really helps me to let it all out in painting I'm oh, sorry in creatively expressing it and then I, I find I'm freed up my mind is a bit freer my heart is a bit freer and I can function again you know I'm not focused on this all my energy isn't on this I'm all my fear or worry about Keanu was let go you know especially because this painting helped me as well um, 
it helped me to just express my love for him. So instead of constantly thinking about him or worrying about him and constantly picking him up and patting him, I could just be like, oh no, I don't need to do that anymore because I've painted these pictures. I mean, of course I will continue loving him and patting him, but I don't have to do it every single second of every day because that's not helpful, is it, to do that, to be consumed by that. You still need to live, you still need to function and do other things. So this painting, you know, for two days, I just painted and painted and painted until I felt empty enough in terms of being able to focus on other stuff. All that energy and emotion emptied out of me onto the page so that I was now free to continue living my life, you know, to continue functioning. So yeah, it took two days, but it was very therapeutic and, um, you know, I'm feeling a lot better now and um, I'm not struggling anymore. Um, and I, it all came down to, yeah, like I say, just r- r- knowing I was, um, comforted and had God's compassion and his love that made it all bearable and then this creative expression was the other thing that really helped so yeah I don't know I hope those two tips were kind of helpful for you I guess no matter what you're going through um, but especially at this time I guess this is a very fitting message or something I suppose and who knows maybe this is why or one of the reasons or you know how good can come out of everything and you know this those two days i was i was actually in, really struggling i was in a world of pain around this suffering animal suffering and i was just like oh this is horrible this is really horrible but the good that came out of it was those two lessons well i already knew that creative lesson in particular the lesson about love and comfort and compassion and perhaps maybe this offers something good for you too and if that's the good that comes out of it you know that's awesome and i'm so thankful so yeah (laughs) Uh, let me know if that was helpful at all Um, in a little while I'm not sure when I'll do the voiceovers for the other two videos um, paintings and I'll put those up on my channel and I thought I'll keep it a bit lighter for those ones and just share some fun Keanu stories some funny stories (laughs) bye guys